Yeah, well, authorities say he was allegedly trying to flee the country. Now, this is coming to light in disturbing new court documents we got. Pair them with what his neighbors had to say about him, and they get even worse. Nicholas Matthew is from Federal Way. Prosecutors say in those court documents, Matthew drove to Point Defiance Park February 10th and stabbed that woman completely unprovoked. It is still chilling to hear her talk about what she went through. I was one wrong move from being killed. I was completely alone, and I still can't believe that I survived. So she told authorities she was walking the light blue trail at Point Defiance when she noticed 27-year-old Matthew coming, quote, uncomfortably close to her. She tried to let him pass her, but instead court documents say he smiled and laughed and then began stabbing her repeatedly. She offered him money to get him to stop, but Matthews accused her of being a pedophile and said she would, quote, pay for what she did and she needed to meet her maker. Strangers stepped in to help kicking Matthew before he ran off and authorities sent one of their shoes and the survivor's jeans off for lab testing. They came back with Matthew's DNA. In the meantime, Matthew's continued his outbursts. Court documents allege on February 18th he threatened Guitar Center employees. After that, a neighbor we talked to at his apartment complex told us he was the target. He was like following me like right behind me and I was kind of like thinking like why are you doing this and then he was like right on like my footsteps like he could have stepped on the back of my shoe. Probably the day after I seen some blood stains all in his car and we reported it to the, uh, the housing people and they said oh he's weird just brushed it off like nothing. So Pierce County prosecutors did charge Nicholas Matthew with first degree attempted murder. Again, he is being held without any bail in San Mateo County, California, where he was arrested. His court hearing is 1.30 this afternoon. And we also know police here at Tacoma Police Department are trying to extradite him back to Washington. We're working to find out more details on that process. We'll let you know any updates as they become available to us. For now reporting live in Tacoma, I'm Taylor Winkle. Fox 13 News.